We're Hacker Twins, and on the left is our new Tripedal robot. Before we say goodbye to Baby Tripedal, let's go through how many server motors it took to get this thing walking. Two wasn't enough. A third on the ankle got it shuffling around. And six made it shuffle even faster. A seventh servo to swing the center leg is what it needed to take steps. For your chance to win your own Baby Tripedal hardware kit, Comment something below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Adding one outer servo to each ankle gave us nine in total and a lot more control when walking. With all the electronics exposed, I need a safety rope to be able to catch Tripedal in case he falls over. All the parts are 3D printed, but I had to use tape and hot glue to secure some together. After slowly shuffling, I'm able to get it to lift up the center leg without falling over for the first time. Through a Bluetooth connection on my computer, I'm sending a list of integers to the robot telling the servos what position they need to be in, and then it goes through a sequence to do so. Later in this video, I'll show you the app I programmed to create these step sequences. I have to manually choose the position of each servo and often I get it wrong. But I'm gonna show you the new app I'm making that's gonna make this a lot easier. Something humans and tripedal share is that if you wanna lift a leg in the air in front of yourself, you kinda of have to lean backwards, which defeats the whole purpose of taking a step forward because now I'm stuck on the back legs. Instead, what I'll do is have tripedal swing his center leg forward and plant on it like a normal person would do if they were walking. Before I show you its first full step, I want to go over some obvious upgrades. The batteries were just randomly taped on, and you can tell that the wires are a rat's nest. I'm still using a little Arduino Nano to control the motors and the Bluetooth connection, but I'll need to upgrade and move this motor controller to a safer spot. The new build needs to be wider, a little taller, and 3D printed parts need to be thicker and more solid, so it's not so flexible. Here's the final step. The current app that controls Tripedal lets you select all nine servo positions by either using a slider or an input. You're then able to record that particular input of all nine positions and play them back. You can record as many instances as you want and that's how I make the walking sequence. And this app also controls the Bluetooth connection. The new app is more sophisticated. With less inputs, it needs to calculate all the angles needed to move multiple legs or multiple servos at one time. The visualization actually represents what Tripedal looks like in real life, which is a lot more useful for figuring out what goes wrong when it falls over in a walking pattern. This is an old Raspberry Pi, and this is an Orange Pi Zero, which is smaller and more powerful. Tripedal needs access to Wi-Fi and Linux operating system if it's going to do robot things. We'll need to find better places for all these parts. The next time you see Tripedal, he'll be cleaner, tougher, and ready for more testing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hacker Twins, out.